Hey, my name is Samar. I also go by Sam or First Time Panner. This will be my introduction for my That's So 2000s Project Pan Round 3. And I am so excited. This is my favorite video to film every year. Um, this is a, if you haven't seen it before, a collaboration um, for a project that I created. Um, and it's in collaboration with Fantastic Ladies. So the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group will be linked in my description box. Um, but I created this project um, uh, two years ago now since this is the third year that we're doing this and this is a project that's all about the 2000s so this is a rolling style project pan I'll try to explain in depth just for anyone new who's joining who maybe has never done anything like this but if you already know um, kind of what the project is about and everything I'll leave a timestamp um, for when I actually start my um, actual intro and like update um, so you can just skip to that part if you already know, but um, just um, to explain how the project works, this is a project pan where um, I created um, prompts for items to pick to pan um, based on different um, characteristics or different things about the 2000s. Um, so all the prompts will be listed in the Facebook post for my project, which I will also link or I also have all of the prompts in a story on my Instagram. I did also create a spreadsheet with all the prompts and then the descriptions of the prompts uh, in case you want to do it that way. I just copied and pasted everything from my spreadsheet into my randomizing wheel which you'll see a little bit later so um, if you want to do that I'll also have the link there. So how you choose um, the prompts and these rules are kind of like just general guidelines on how to do the project. If you find that you want to do anything your own specific way, you definitely can. Um, this project is just meant to be fun, so don't feel pressured to do everything in the exact way that I'm describing. But generally, um, we randomize prompts from either like um, like a wheel or randomizing numbers and that's how you choose your prompts and generally you will have five prompts at a time and this is rolling style so once you hit your um, goal on one of the prompts that you've rolled in you will roll in however many you met your goal on for the next update and these are monthly updates every month on the 16th um, if you can't upload on that exact date, that's totally fine. I am pretty sporadic, unfortunately, so, um, it's totally understandable. And this project will be a year long. It starts April 16th of 2024 and ends on April 16th of 2025. As I said before, this is the third year that we're doing this. So the first year there were 32 prompts. Last year, round two, there were 42 prompts, and this year I have added another five for a total of 47 prompts that you can randomize through. And if you do want to do the same prompt twice, you are more than welcome to do that. I did that in my first round, um, just to make sure you use like a different item for that prompt. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that just makes it a little more fun that way. If you have any questions on specific prompts, definitely let me know. Um, you can ask anything you want in either the um, Facebook post in the Fantastic Ladies group or in my comments or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'll have my information linked in my description box so you can find me anywhere. Um, but just to explain, one of the new prompts that I added this year um, is um, Survivor, which is um, you can vote something off of the island or like out of the project and that's basically just a veto. If you don't like one of the prompts you just rolled in and you also rolled in the prompt survivor or if you want to take something out that you were previously working on that just you don't want to work on anymore is not working out for you, you can use the um, survivor, survivor veto prompt um, to kind of like next uh prompt that you don't want to work on but then you should roll in something else so that uh, you can have like five total um 
prompts to be working on at a time if you do want to work on five at a time it's totally up to you i believe i've explained everything um so i'm just gonna get into my introduction um i will say if you're wondering where my finale for round two is that's coming tomorrow um if you've been watching my videos you'll know i'm extremely busy and i didn't have time to film both of them and still get this introduction up on time so my finale for round two will be actually coming tomorrow after my intro for round three but you know that's just the way the world works sometimes like i said this project is very flexible and easygoing and just meant to be fun so i don't want any of you stressing yourselves out to do things exactly how i say them in the introduction but um i have already rolled my five prompts that i'm going to be working on first um because i film on my phone so um i can't like roll on screen so i pretty much always just screen record whatever is chosen on the randomization wheel and um i don't remember exactly in which order everything was rolled i have my items here but i will start with um the prompt harry potter which is um anything magical or related to magic so um i'm choosing my abh magic touch concealer sample card this thing is really old this is like two years old <laughs> um and my goal will be to finish all of these um i'm thinking i should definitely be able to get these done by the first update because there's like really not much in here maybe i'll try to use them like all at once like as my foundation bronzer conce or yeah concealer contour so um yes my goal for the magic touch concealer will be to finish all the samples i also got the prompt bratz dolls which is anything that exaggerates your features and that's because if you ever played with bratz dolls you know um all of their features are either like super tiny or super huge they're known for like their super giant heads and big lips uh and big eyes so um i picked an eyeliner i always drop something in my videos if you're new here just so you know um that's not out of the ordinary Anyway, um, I chose an eyeliner because I feel like every time I wear an eyeliner, my eyes just pop so much more. And I wear eyeliner almost every day because um, I personally think my eyes are my most interesting feature because I have pretty big eyes. So I always like to exaggerate them or make them stand out more. Anyway, I'm rolling in my Kofi um what is this called i just got this like a week ago in this for sale this is the underlined kajal eyeliner in the shade cheeky chiku which is just a brown eyeliner this is what it looks like i'm wearing it now i have to be honest it's not the best eyeliner um i've definitely used better but it's good enough to keep it's definitely not as bad as my sephora gel eyeliner which i decluttered after using twice really terrible so anyway my goal is going to be to finish this and i've marked it on my paper here's my notebook that i've loaded up with different minnesota stickers this is actually um ted the same bear that i have on my shirt and i'm wearing my bear earrings as well um but yeah this is ted bear um i visit him in minnesota all the time where i'm from so say hi to ted anyway this is my notebook where i like um keep track of all my panning stuff this is how much i have in here and i've like barely used this because it's so new so it's nearly full um and there's not like as much as if this was um a sharpenable pencil eyeliner but um knowing how slow i seem to pan whenever i put something in a project it probably will take me a while now um but yeah my goal is to finish that and um while i have my paper out i'll talk about my next prompt which was the lizzie mcguire movie um and the prompt for this is a dupe for an expensive or a super high product if you've seen the lizzie mcguire movie which if you haven't you definitely should see it but if you've seen that movie you know that um hillary duff plays um she's like pretending to be this like 
super popular celebrity so that's why that's the prompt um i decided to pan my elf sheer slick lipstick in the shade black cherry this is like a pretty widely known um dupe or alternative for clinique black honey um and this was discontinued for a while and they actually brought it back so if you're interested in this you can still get it um, my goal for this will be to use it 24 times i initially wanted to finish it and then i realized um, it's basically brand new. So yeah, I'm gonna, oh, there's cat fur on there, of course. Um, so yeah, my goal will be to use this 24 times and this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I love this on myself, but I just never wear it because I'm always panning so many other things. So, um, I really should use this since e.l.f. sometimes can go bad a lot quicker than most other brands and um, it's a really pretty color. This thing takes forever to roll up. Um... <laughs> okay, I accidentally just got it on my paper, but here's how much I have and I'm not going to try to finish this. Um, this is just for reference. Um, I think I already said my goal will be to use this 24 times since we're in the year 2024. I just decided to make that my usage goal. Um, but I think marking it on the paper will be interesting to see how much progress I make in those 24 uses. For the prompt frosted tips, which is anything frosty or icy, um, I chose my Natasha Denona Retro Glam um, little single i got his free gift with purchase in the shade flutter and as you can see this is a very icy especially on me this is incredibly icy um eyeshadow and i'll swatch it that's what it looks like and it's really pretty um i think this would be a perfect inner corner shade for me so i feel like i'm gonna regret this but my goal is going to be to hit pan on this. If I just use this as my dedicated inner corner shade until I hit pan, maybe it'll only take me like three, four months. But I have other inner corner shades that I'm working on right now. So this is like a very bad idea and I know that going into this, but I'm doing it anyway because I want to hit pan on more eyeshadow. Finally, I also got Friends, which is anything that you're taking a break from using. I've never watched Friends, but I feel like there's that iconic line, we were on a break, so um, that's why that's the prompt for Friends. And um, every time I think about this prompt, um, I just think of something. If I'm taking a break from something, I'm not necessarily... I'm not using it now, but I don't necessarily dislike the product. Um, I'm just not using it now, and that makes me think of something that you're not using because it's a seasonal item. Uh, that's what I did last round, and that's what I'm doing again for this round. And just like last time, I'm doing a seasonal perfume sample. This is Replica Jazz Club, and I can't remember the exact notes for this, so I'll put them on the screen, but this is definitely like either a winter or a fall scent for me, um, and we're in like the middle of spring right now. If I hadn't gotten this prompt, I would not be using this, but I did, so yeah, I'm gonna try to finish this. I will finish it and most likely by next update because this thing is only half full anyway. Okay, my video paused, sorry. But I should definitely be able to finish this by next time. And those are all five of my products that I'm starting with for my introduction. Um, thanks to everyone who's joining this project or even if you're not joining and you're just watching. Thank you for keeping up with this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer any questions. And also, if you're not planning on joining right now, if you're busy or if you're just seeing this and you're not ready to join, you can always jump in at any time. Um, and um, if you are interested in this project but you just don't have time to take on an entire new project, you can always vote for this project for um, Throwback 30, which is um, another project that the Fantastic Ladies do where they choose 30 different projects to do all in the same project um, if you don't have time to do everything. And I will see you in my next video and I'll also be watching everyone else's introductions. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.